What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of A Legend in the Making. Today we have got Miroslav Klose, the German striker. Could potentially have been playing for Poland as well, but he went for Germany, guys. And um, he is a fantastic player. Now, before we get into his card, if you want any, uh, if you want to purchase any FIFA Ultimate Team coins, check out thefootshop.com. Their link is in the description below. A very fast and reliable service. And if you use the discount code NEPO at checkout, you will get a discount on your coins. So he has pretty much stayed in the German leagues his whole career until moving to Lazio in 2011. But as you can see, 206 goals in 522 games is incredible. And for Germany, he has picked up 68 goals in 131 appearances. It's very rare in this day and age that a player gets over 100 caps just because there's always some next star lining up to take your place. But he has achieved that with Germany picking up 131 appearances. He has won the Bundesliga two times. He won the German Footballer of the Year one time. He was runner-up in both the FIFA World Cup and the Euro Championships with Germany one time. And he won or owns the World Cup Golden Shoe. He won that for, I think, scoring eight goals in the World Cup. But although he did win that, four of those goals were against, I do believe it was Saudi Arabia in an 8-0 win for Germany. So whilst you can't discredit him for that, it kind of does take away from the achievement a little bit. And he has the fair play plaquette. Uh, and I want to talk a little bit about that uh, in this video because this is something that I, I did know, but it's actually not very well known about um, Miroslav Klose. So let me just read this article off Wikipedia for you because it's incredible. It says, during the match between Werder, Werder Bremen and Armenia Bielefeld, I'm butchering the names of these German clubs, so I apologize. In April 2005, the referee whistled for a penalty. Klose then told the referee that the goalkeeper had the ball first when Klose fell. The referee took back his penalty decision and the yellow card for the goalkeeper, uh, Matthias Hain. And he said, for this act of fair contact, Closer received the fair play plaquette from the Dutch Olympic Society and the fair play trophy from the, uh, the the German sports journalist. And it also says at the end of September 2012, Closer scored a goal using his hand against Napoli. Closer admitted this to the referee, who then took back his decision for the goal and spared Closer from a yellow card and shook his hand due to his uh, due to his you know his fair play abilities and th that's that's incredible for a footballer to do that when you think back of like Thierry Henry against Ireland where he clearly handled the ball uh, it was instinctive you know so it was on purpose and kind of carried on you know I think Viltor scored the goal from Henry handling the ball and they knocked Ireland out of the World Cup or out of the World Cup qualifying spots and Henry admitted after the game that he handled the ball, the world could see he handled the ball, but he didn't go up to the ref and say, yo, I fucked up, that shouldn't count. He just carried on and, and allowed it to be. So, you know, there's a lot to be said about Closer for doing those things on the field. You know, the, the guy is absolutely incredible. And he, he won a lot in his career. It's a shame he didn't manage to win the, the World Cup or the Euro Championships with Germany. But uh, that is life with some of these, the best players in the world don't even get a chance to go to the World Cup. Because sometimes, you know, you look at Ibrahimovic this year, okay, Sweden have been there before, but Ibrahimovic just won't be there this this year, which is crazy. And um, so Miroslav Klose, guys, I've given him two star skill moves and a four star weak foot. I've given him 84 pace, 77 dribbling, 65 defending and 72 passing. But most importantly for him, 89 shooting and 93 heading. And I think that is a very, very fair card for Klose. And he would be brilliant to use because of the way his stats are set. In FIFA, he would be a machine, an absolute tank. And he would be a joy to play with. So this is the end of the video, guys. Thank you as always for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, I am out. Peace.